G'day guys, Caleb here, Pro Touring Concepts. Not very often we have three wagons complete from our Pro Touring HQ in one week, but this time we do and we're gonna take the uh, opportunity to showcase all three in one hit. So I'm gonna briefly run through two of the wagons. Chris is also gonna run through one. It's got a little bit more gear in it, but the coolest thing is we've got a VX, a GR, and a GX, and we can sort of run through a few unique things of each. But right in front of me, this is a VX Crystal Pearl. This is a two inch 3,800 kilo JMAX kit. Uh, with the zero to 200 kilo rear coils, nice and comfortable. There's not, there's no draw unit in the back of this, so it sort of it, it needs the lighter load rear coil. Uh, we've got an ARB Summit Deluxe ball bar on it. ROH crawlers in a 33 or 285 65 18. While I'm around the back of the VX, uh, the VX is one of the models that does retain seven seats. Now, as part of the 4200 kilo GVM kit, we remove the seats and put a false floor in, but this particular customer has requested that we keep the seats back in. So we have to do the GVM mod, uh, pre-rego, get it all complied, and then we put the seats back in and get that approved under a, a state approval blue plate by a local engineer. So this one still does have the seven seats back in under a post-rego approval. It's not too top heavy. As soon as you start going to three inches and any bigger size tire, the tire starts to sort of drive you. You're not you drive the tire. So. The, three, the two inch and 33s is really ideal. We've got the um, ARB Summit Deluxe Bull Bar in our Pro Touring UV Powder, Nava 215, MK2s, that's a standard on all of our builds as you've seen in the past. Safari V-Spec, Toe Pro, Toe Power, they're all part of our just stage one packages. Uh, essentially you need a GVM kit, wheels, tyres, Toe Pro, Toe Power, that'll get you going on the road. That's it for that one. Moving over to this black GR Sport, it's pretty much polar opposite to the VX that I just spoke about. This is a 3 inch 3800 J-Max kit on 35 inch Nitto Ridge Grappler tyres, ROH Assaults. The benefit to it being a GR Sport is that you can actually adjust the suspension, the roll in cab. It has the electronic KDSS, which means you can adjust from comfort to sport, super sport, or you can even create a custom setting, which means you can control the body roll a lot more. Plus the electric adjust alphas as well. You can adjust the dampening while you're driving, which is a huge benefit. It does have a diesel power and limited performance package under the bonnet. Uh, it is for towing. This car will be built up a little bit more. The customer is going to add a bar on once he decides. Um, but so it does have our standard your tow, tow package, um, Red Arc Tow Pro, power to the rear, and uh, the DPU tow tune in here. Uh, remember guys, it is really important that if you're gonna add accessories like bull bars and stuff to the cars that you let us know prior, we have to set up the suspension accordingly. Ultimately, if it's all done at the start, when we can get the, the front struts adjusted and valved and having a, a wheel on done at the, at the same time, that is ideal. Looks bloody, bloody beautiful. Eclipse black, it has like a blue shimmer through it when the, uh, when the sun hits it. And uh, that's pretty much it for that car. It's a 3800 kit, drives absolutely amazing. So over to Chris. G'day guys, Chris, Pro Touring. So here we've got a GX300 series. Uh, the GX is the very base model for the 300, so entry level, we're talking vinyl floors, cloth seats, things like that. Not a worry though, all our gadgets, things we do with Pro Touring, we can spec them up. Uh, this one's been through quite a change, so we've got the JMAX 4200 uh, pre-rego GVM upgrade, federal compliance on that. That does maintain three and a half ton towing, so you're at full capacity there as well. So uh, seven seven combined mass in that one. Uh, running through from the front, so we've got our ARB bull bar in the Pro Touring UV powder, the integrated ARB light bar in the in there, and a uh, worn winch through there. So this is the Sahara bar. You'll notice no hoops coming out the side like the uh, VX had over there. So it is a two inch lift in the 4200 kit. So we're running the King off-road wheels. We've got 285 tires on that one as well. Uh, I've got the extended flares to cater for the bigger wheels. Coming through to down on the side here, we've got Clearview power boards. These ones so, um, are available for the 300 market now. Open, pop down, make it nice and easy to get into for uh, you know, a lot of people that struggle jumping into higher cars and things like that, we find those side steps work really well for them. We've got factory bonnet protector there, we've got factory windshield protectors there as well. Got the three quarter length base rack, so it looks nice and neat up there. These, the GX model doesn't have a sunroof, um, but the shorter roof rack just looks really neat really practical for the car. Around the back, so I'll show you guys on the inside, this one does have Department of Interior goodies, so loaded drawers. So we've got angle 30 litre drawer fridge on this one, 
which is nice and neat, compact, just for storing you know, a few drinks, things like that. Uh, full length storage drawer on this side with that table that comes out as well. So really handy for meal prep or if you just want to stand there and have a yarn over a beer. No electrical on this package. This customer has decided to do his own. So we've fitted the drawers for him. Uh, he's going to take over the rest of that there. Pro Touring cargo barrier board there, which integrates with the uh, K-On barrier. Taking care of tow package on that one. So got his brake controller, tow power. This guy is towing a Jayco uh, caravan. So he's got a couple of Anderson plugs there for that. So we cater for all things to, to match up with your van and what you're doing. I'll just show you inside the car on these ones, guys. So give you a bit of an idea. The GX, as I mentioned, the vinyl flooring. Uh, this one, we've got ARB seat covers on these. If you haven't seen the ARB seat covers, they're really neat. Uh, ARB floor mats as well. These are, if you've got a 300 series or a 79 series, I'm not sure if they're available for any other model, but those ARB floor mats, friggin' awesome. J-Max Electronic Alpha Controlled Shocks in here. So as Caleb mentioned, on the GR, same thing. All adjustable there. You've got your Toe Pro switch there, light bar, everything's all integrated into your factory dash switches. Uh, GME XRS 330 over there, so the UHF. The box is concealed in under the dash, but then yeah, everything is controlled from your handpiece there. Just while we're on that, guys, it's probably a really good opportunity that we take, uh, take you through the difference in these models. So I mentioned the GX stuff, all manual controlled seats. So you've got to pull your levers very old school to adjust your seat and move things around. What I'll do is take you over, show you the GR. Caleb's going to run through that one, show you a few features of that model. Yeah, so the GR is, uh, is quite unique in the way that it has the full leather alongside the Sahara. It also has the JBL sound system. Some of the key features that set the GR apart is your front and rear lockers as well, which is part of your drive, your, your drive train. It, it adjusts with your mode select. So when you change through multi-terrain select, you can adjust your front and rear diff locks. It has crawl control and stuff like that. But the GR Sport has a My Settings feature, which allows you to basically save settings to two different keys. For instance, husband, wife, you've got seat adjustments, mirror adjustments, um, sound, sound system settings, uh, air con settings, all of those features save to your key, which is part of the My Settings feature in the car. So as soon as you get in and out, your steering and seat adjust to how you had it set, which is a really, really cool, handy feature. The GR also features a little cooler box in here um, auto dimming rear view mirror, uh, the multi-terrain select sort of system comes up on the screen It basically shows you th through the cameras all around the car what you're actually driving on, all the terrain that you're actually driving on, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, the, the key points is the off-road ability, the front and rear diff locks, those my key settings, all the electric adjustment seats, cooling, heating, as the moonroof, um, the electronic tailgate in the back. Uh, it's a very comfy place to be, especially with the electronic KDSS when you can drive around, adjust it into eco or comfort mode and it just, it, it smooths out the ride, Un like it's unbelievable to drive. We'll point out the VX interior wise doesn't look too different but you can go over and have a look at that one now. So this is the VX model guys, uh, very similar to the GR in looks wise on the dash. Functionality, a few things change. Uh, you've still got all your drive mode selects and stuff, all your buttons and everything is the same as the GR. Uh, very different to the GX, however, and the GXL. The VX is the first that gets uh, the leather fill seats and stuff, the electronic moving seats, um, which is really cool. A few other things, all your trims change. The GR has the embroidery in the seats. These ones don't. First model that has the moonroof as well. So yeah, uh, the seats on these ones, it's a synthetic leather and the VX doesn't have the JBL sound system like the GR does. So a few differences there but the VX is, we find it's the most comfortable car to work with for most customers. It's the mid-range first of the entry level where you get all the gadgets and features um, but then you don't have cloth interior things like that. So. The VX is, is a, a very workable car. All right, guys, hope that information has, uh, has helped anyone out there that had any questions about the three particular models. Uh, any more information you guys need, drop a comment below. We'll get back to you. Email us, call the office. Uh, Chris will be probably one of the one guys that, that answers <laughs> the questions. So 
Anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Guys.